insulin là gì? Khi nào bệnh tiểu đường nên tiêm insulin? Bệnh tiểu đường là do cơ thể thiếu hụt hoặc đề kháng với insulin dẫn đến rối loạn chuyển hóa lượng đường huyết trong máu. Vậy insulin là gì? Bạn đã biết nhiều về từ khóa này chưa? Hãy khám phá những thông tin hữu ích trong bài viết sau đây. Insulin là gì? Insulin là một loại hormone do tuyến tụy sản xuất với nhiệm vụ chuyển hóa carbon hydrate trong cơ thể, giải phóng chất đường thành năng lượng duy trì hoạt động của các cơ thể cũng như nuôi dưỡng các mô và cơ. Đối với người tiểu đường tiếp 1, đường huyết của họ cao là do tuyến tụy không sản xuất được insulin hoặc sản xuất quá ít không đủ cung cấp cho cơ thể nên lượng đường bị dư ra sinh ra căn bệnh tiểu đường đối với người tiểu đường tiếp 2 tuyến tụy vẫn sản sinh ra insulin nhưng cơ thể lại kháng lại hóc môn insulin khiến chúng không thể thực hiện được chức năng của chúng When you hear the word insulin, you may think of a drug taken by people who have diabetes. While this is true, what you may not know is that insulin is one of the many hormones created in the human body. Insulin is important to the body. It allows blood sugar, or glucose, to get into cells to provide them with energy. When you eat, your body breaks down food into glucose in your small intestine. This is your body's source of energy for everything it does, from working and thinking to exercising and healing. Glucose travels through your bloodstream, looking for individual cells that need energy. For glucose to get into the cells, it requires insulin. Insulin is the key that unlocks cells for glucose to enter and deliver energy. When insulin arrives, it signals the cell to activate glucose transporters. These transporters pull glucose through cell walls. When glucose moves into the cell, it delivers energy. Insulin is normally produced in the pancreas by specialized cells called beta cells. When glucose enters your bloodstream, the pancreas matches it with the right amount of insulin to move glucose into your cells. In people with diabetes, this process doesn't work as it should. In type 1 diabetes, scientists believe the body's immune system mistakenly attacks and destroys beta cells in the pancreas. A person with type 1 diabetes loses the ability to produce insulin. In type 2 diabetes, the pancreas is not producing enough insulin to meet the body's needs. Over time, the amount of insulin typically becomes less and less. In some type 2 diabetes patients, cells build up a resistance to insulin. Even though there may be insulin in the bloodstream, it is not enough to unlock cells to allow glucose to enter. As a result, it takes more insulin to find the right key to unlock the cell for glucose. This makes it more difficult for cells to get the energy they need. When glucose can't get into cells, either because there isn't enough insulin or because the body is resisting it, glucose begins to build up in the bloodstream. As a result, all that energy is wasted. It does not get to cells where it is needed. Without glucose in your cells, they lack the energy they require to keep your body working. To keep glucose from building up in the bloodstream, an external supply of insulin may be needed. Because people with type 1 diabetes can't produce their own insulin, They must inject insulin several times every day or receive insulin through an insulin pump. Many people with type 2 diabetes take insulin too. Injected insulin acts on glucose in a similar way to insulin the body would produce if it could. Like the body's insulin, injected insulin helps reduce the amount of glucose in the bloodstream by getting it into cells where it is needed for energy. Talk to your doctor to see if insulin might be right for you. Use our discussion guide to help lead that conversation.
Important safety information about insulin. The most common side effect of insulin is low blood sugar. Some people may experience symptoms such as shaking, sweating, fast heartbeat, and blurred vision, while some experience no symptoms at all. That's why it's important to check your blood sugar often. Talk to your doctor about whether insulin is right for you.